Hi, I'm Mr. Schrader, and this is a video on lattice multiplication. Algorithms that we teach in everyday math. And it's probably that way because it looks funky, and it takes a little bit of practice to really see what's happening. Um, but it's also one that really clicks with students. And so it's so different than the way adults have learned, but it's one that students really, really use. Um, Everyday Math originally put it in every, uh, into the series because it's kind of a fun one. Um, and, it, and it provided practice with multiplication facts and, and strings of single digit numbers. Uh, but it's one that kids really picked up on. Now, it's also a very efficient um, algorithm because it keeps things nice and tidy if you know what you're looking for. Also, it's really good with long multiplication problems. It's very good for those, um, and, and, and where it's probably better than long multiplication is. Uh, so what I want to talk about this is uh, it's also got some negatives, um, is that it's unfamiliar to adults. Um, and actually building the lattice takes a little bit of time in understanding what you're doing. So we're going to work through it together and see what happens. It's called lattice because of this box that shows up with it. Now, when I'm multiplying a number, in this case I'm going to multiply 53 times 67. The way we build our box is by taking a look at the first number, and it's a two-digit number. So I'm going to have a two-digit box by another two-digit box. So when I build my box, it's going to have two spots here and two spots here. So I have 53 and 67. So I need a spot, a row or a column, for like that. All right. So since I have a two digit by two digit, that's going to be a two by two box. All right. Let me go ahead and clear off some space so that we can work this one together. I'm going to need some space right here. I've got 53 times 67. I draw my lattice. Now, what I need to do is I need to look at this first box only. And then this box is going to be 3 times 6. 3 times 6 is 18, so I fill in a 1 and an 8. Notice that I put my 10's place in the top part and my 1's place in the bottom part of the box. Now I can move on to another box. It doesn't really matter which order you go into. This is the one that works for me. So I get 3 times 7 in this box, which is 21, 2, and a 1. My next box, I'll do this one next, 5 times 6, which is 30, 3, and a 0. And then I have 5 times 7, which is 35, right there. And then all I have to do at this point is I have to add up across my lattice. So on these diagonal lines, I add up, so I get a 1, I get a 5, plus 8, plus 2, which is 15. There's where I carry my 1, a 3, 4, 5, and a 3. Okay, so I showed you my work. I'm going to go ahead and erase it so that I can show you on here. So I get my my 1 comes down, my 8 plus 2 plus 5 is 15, so 5 carry 1, 3, 4, and 5, and then my 3 comes down. So this is my answer. It's 3,551. All right. We're going to go to the guided practice next and see if we can make this a little bit clearer. I have 327 times 94. So I need a 3 by a 2, because my first number is 3 digits, my second number is 2 digits long. So I'm going to write it out, 327 times 94. Now my first step is I drew my lattice. My next step is that I have to write one on the top and one number on the side, um, one digit for each row or column. Now, I'm going to multiply each digit in one factor by each digit in the other factor. That means I'm going to take 7 times 9. So 
7 times 9 is 63, so I write it in. Then I'm going to do 7 times 4 in this box, which is 28. Then I'm going to go to this box, which is 2 times 9, which is 18, a 1, and an 8. 2 times 4 is 8, so I need a 0 as a placeholder there. So 0, 8. I have 3 times 9, which is 27. And then I've got 3 times 4, which is 12. Okay, so I've done all the multiplying. Now all I need to do is add my lattice rows. So I have an 8 that goes here. 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 3 is 13. And carry my 1. 6 plus 1 is 7. Plus 8 plus 2 is 17. Carry my 1. Plus 1 is 2. Plus 7 is 9. Plus 1 is 10. Carry my 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. So this is my answer. It's 3, 0, 7, 3, 8. Put in my comma. It's 30,738. That's a big number, and that's long multiplication. Lattice really keeps it organized in short and in a concise space. Lattice is, a, is a, a, a great way for students to kind of keep themselves in place. Now I want you to go ahead and solve the on your own problem by yourself and then uh, you can pause the video and when you're done go ahead and play the video to check your answer. All right, I've got a three-digit number in 423. So I need a three-digit box at the top, and I need a two-digit box on the side for the 52. So I'm going to get a rectangle here. All right, I need to draw my lattices. This is the hardest part of the whole process, really, once you get it done, is to make sure your lattices look neat and tidy. And I'm going to put in my factors, 423 times 52. All right, I like to start in the upper right-hand corner. It doesn't so much matter which one you do, so long as you keep yourself organized, which is 3 times 5, and that's 15. 3 times 2 is 6, which means I put a 0 and a 6. 2 times 5 is 10, so it's a 1 and a 0. 2 times 2 is 4, which is a 0 and a 4. 4 times 5 is 20. And a 4 times 2 is 8, so it's a 0 and an 8. All right, and then all I need to do is add up my diagonals. So I have a 6. 5 plus 4 is 9. 8 plus 1 is 9. A 1. And a two. So my answer is 21,996. Lattice is, is it's a favorite for students uh, because I think they see it as a trick. But if you really look at it, the diagonals, what those are doing, they're just lining up your place values. So it works out pretty well. I hope this helps. Uh, and thanks a lot.